Hello, friends, this is Professor Gugla. On my channel, you mostly watch videos about the beautiful world around us. But today, it's a little different. What is it about? Keep watching to find out. The Great Buddha of Thailand, also known as the Big Buddha, is a massive statue of Buddha located in Wat Muang Temple in Ang Thong Province, Thailand. The Buddha stands at a height of 301 feet, making it the tallest freestanding Buddha in Thailand and the second tallest in Southeast Asia. Construction of the statue began in 1990 and was completed in 2008. The Buddha is seated in the so-called Maravijaya attitude, a pose commonly seen in Thai art where the seated Buddha's hand rests relaxed on the ground, while the other hand lies on the knee. The Great Buddha is made of reinforced concrete and is covered in gold paint using an intricate technique that showcases the features of traditional Thai art. This impressive structure towers over several kilometers around it and attracts thousands of visitors every year. One of the most striking features of the Buddha statue is its serene facial expression, radiating tranquility. Everyone who visits the temple can feel this sense of calmness. The size of the statue also evokes a sense of reverence. Visitors often describe a feeling of humility and reverence in the presence of such a magnificent work of art. The temple housing the statue is an important pilgrimage site for Buddhists. The temple complex contains several other smaller Buddha statues, as well as other religious and cultural artifacts. As the Great Buddha is the center of attention, it plays an incredibly significant role in local worship. Mother of Asia. Tower of Peace. Philippines. The Mother of Asia or the Tower of Peace is the tallest statue of the Virgin Mary on Earth. It stands at a height of 321 feet. The statue is located in the city of Batangas, Philippines. Construction of the statue began in 2014 and was completed seven years later. Inside, there is a space of 130,000 square feet. The first floor houses the tomb of St. Pope John Paul II, which is a place of worship. The remaining space is dedicated to 12 Marian chapels on the third floor, a food hall on the fourth floor, two theaters, conference halls, and an observation deck. From the 7th to the 10th floors, there are commercial and residential areas. The idea for the statue came from Catholic priest Fernando Suarez, who is a member of the Mother of the Poor Foundation. After raising the necessary funds, the question arose of where to build the statue. The location in the city of Batangas was chosen for its accessibility to the rest of the country in Asia. The site was part of the festivities celebrating the 500th anniversary of the acceptance of Christianity in the Philippines. Now, the statue serves as a symbol of peace and unity on the continent and around the world. There are even talks of constructing an even larger statue of the Virgin Mary in another region of the country. Statue of Guanyin on Mount Vishan, China The statue of Guanyin in China, also known as the Thousand Hands and Eyes statue, is a unique depiction of the Buddhist goddess of mercy and compassion. Guanyin is located in Mian Temple in Hunan Province, China. This statue is particularly remarkable for its intricate details and symbolism. It is a popular attraction for visitors and pilgrims. The height of the statue is 324 feet, making it the fourth tallest statue in China. The statue features distinctive elements representing the thousand hands and eyes. This version of Guanyin is a symbol of her omniscience and omnipotence, her ability to help all who turn to her. Each of the thousand hands holds its Buddhist symbol, such as a lotus flower or sacred scripture, or makes a specific gesture. The eyes symbolize her ability to see and understand the suffering of all living beings. The statue is made of gilded bronze. This version of Guanyin has existed since the Ming Dynasty. The gigantic complex was built in 2009 thanks to investments from local businesses and the regional government. In addition to its religious and symbolic value, the statue is also an engineering marvel, as it was constructed using ancient Chinese technologies that allowed for its massive size. Visitors to the temple can admire the statue from below or climb several stairs to reach the platform at the statue's feet. From this advantageous viewpoint, one can closely examine the details of the statue and enjoy the incredible view of the surrounding mountain landscape. Statue of Sendai Daikonon, Japan Sendai Daikonon is a magnificent statue located in the Japanese city of Sendai, towering at a height of 328 feet. The size of the statue made it the tallest in the world at the time of its completion, although that record has since been surpassed. The statue depicts the Buddhist goddess of mercy, Kanon. 
Construction of the statue began in 1984 and was completed in 1991 after seven years of work. The statue is made of steel and concrete and weighs approximately 9,000 tons. The overall design draws inspiration from the canonical statues of ancient Japanese temples, but its modern architectural features set it apart as the designers sought to incorporate references to different stages of history. The interior of the statue is hollow and houses various exhibition halls and observation decks, offering breathtaking views of the city of Sendai and the surrounding mountains. Visitors can ascend to the observation decks via an elevator that takes them all the way up to the statue's head. On the 12th floor, there are 108 miniature Buddha statues displayed in wooden cases. The statue of the goddess Kanon is a popular destination for both tourists and locals. It serves as a symbol of peace and healing. Many visitors come here to pray for good health and fortune. The statue is surrounded by a large park adorned with cherry blossom trees that bloom in spring. It is an ideal place for self-reflection and achieving a state of tranquility. Letzhen Sasacha, Myanmar. Letzhen Sasacha is a massive statue located in the rural countryside of Katakan Tong, near the city of Maniwa in the Sagain region of Myanmar. The statue stands as the tallest in the country, reaching a height of approximately 380 feet. It was completed in 2008 after 12 years of construction. For a few months, it held the title of the tallest statue in the world. The statue portrays the Buddha in the gesture of fearlessness, known as the Abhaya Mudra, and is made of concrete and bronze. The Buddha is depicted wearing traditional Burmese attire and ornaments. The base is designed in the shape of a lotus flower, which symbolizes purity and enlightenment in Buddhism. Today, the statue is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country while remaining an important religious site. The construction of the Buddha statue was funded by donations from the local community, as well as wealthy individuals and organizations within Myanmar and abroad. Letzhen Sasacha has become a symbol of Myanmar's devotion to Buddhism and its rich cultural heritage. In addition to its religious significance, the statue has also instilled a sense of pride among the people of Myanmar. Its construction required the expertise of engineers, architects, and craftsmen from across the country. The project provided employment opportunities and stimulated the local economy. Despite its popularity within the country, the attraction remains relatively unknown outside of Myanmar, but it is definitely worth seeing with one's own eyes. The authorities hope that the benefits of the construction for the local economy will lead to further development, and such landmarks will become internationally renowned. Yushiku Debutsu, Japan The Yushiku Debutsu statue is located in the Japanese city of Yushiku. It is a statue of Buddha standing at a height of 393 feet. Being the tallest statue in Japan, it is also an important symbol of the country's rich cultural heritage and religious traditions. The construction of the statue was a grand undertaking that began in 1993 and was completed within two years. Creating such a complex design with numerous intricate details and a perfectly polished surface required the dedicated effort of a team of skilled craftsmen, engineers, and architects. The statue is made entirely of bronze. The bronze Buddha stands on a stone pedestal, making it an even more impressive figure that towers over the horizon. Friends, don't hesitate to write comments under the video about what else you would like to learn. I will definitely fulfill your wish. Bye for now.